Hello friends. So today we're gonna start or actually look over a couple of problems regarding binary search. So I'm actually starting also a binary search playlist because a lot of my friends and my members are actually saying that binary search like I should make a lot of problems on binary search also because it is asked in a lot of interviews also and it is a tough like topic to grasp. So I am actually making some like four to five easy problems, four to five difficult, medium, hard problems for all the platforms. So like first i want to start binary search so this is the basic problem on lead code this is the easiest problem uh, which is named actually binary search so we have to implement binary search so before starting out this question or further questions in this series we're gonna first understand what is binary search and also have to know like what is the basic syntax to write binary search or what types of binary search problems can be used okay so i'll move down to the drawing board see by in binary search making the search of any element makes faster this is the simplest definition so as you can see let's assume that you have some elements in this array okay and they are sorted the the basic terminology of basic condition for like this array in which we have to find out any element it should be sorted as you can see it is sorted now if i want to find out that whether four is there now i can easily do a linear search from left to right check at every position whether this is 4, this is 4, this is 4 and so on I found out an element and yes there is a 4 existent in this array so but there is one more problem that if the length of this array is too large then we have to do O of n operations but let's assume that I use binary search so in binary search what we'll do we'll make two pointers one at the start which is pointing at the start point of this array and one at the end and then at every step I will find out the middle element why we are doing that i'll tell you how let's assume that my starting index is zero this is one two three four five these are the indexing of this array now i will take out the middle element which is five plus zero divided by two okay which is equal to 2.5 which you just round off rounded out to a number which is two so you go to the two it index and check that whether this element is equal to the number which i'm searching this is equal to 4 yes so i just break out of this loop and tell that okay i have found the number 4 but let's assume i'm searching for 12 and i'll come to the middle of this array which is 4 and i'll check that is 4 equal to the number i'm searching no i'm searching for 12 so i'll check that whether 12 is greater than this number or smaller than this number as you can see 12 is greater than this number so it means that my number lies on the right hand side of this number why because see this array is sorted that's why if i search for the next number it should be on the right hand side if my searching number is is less than this number but then my number is on the left hand side so that's the main approach for binary search but now when binary search is used so binary search can be used in like mostly it can be used in lot of scenarios but the basic mechanism or like the basic property of the question are whether we want to find out one optimal answer like one answer if as you can see in the whole array uh, as you can see in this whole array there are different numbers but what i've drawn like 2 3 9 15 21 and so on and i want to find that whether 9 is there in this array or whether 7 is there in this array i'm particularly finding out a number so in this case binary search can be useful the first and the basic condition should be it should be sorted or if it's not sorted, we can make this sorted in O of n log n using some sorting algorithm. And then we just do log n for every query or for finding out every number, we just take log n steps. Okay, so now if we find out the answer, then the answer is possible. Like I'll tell you how to write this code for this. But this is the this is the first type of problems in which binary search is used, in which we want to find out a particular answer. But this is not the generally most asked problem in interviews. The generally most problem is, I'll tell you with the question il itself. As you can see in this question, it's a median problem on lead code. We're going to also discuss this problem. But as you can see, let's assume that there is some Coco and he's like, he's a panda or something like that. And he loves eating bananas. Now there are different piles of banana. Okay. As you can see, like there are different piles of banana. So there are like. Uh, like six bananas in this pile like 19 bananas in this pile and so on now he can eat he can eat let's assume k bananas in one minute okay if he eat k bananas in one minute what he'll do 
and he want to eat all these stacks okay so what he'll do he will first eat k bananas from here 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 and so on okay so now he will take let's assume that he will take some t amount of time to eat all the bananas okay now the thing here is if you take t amount of time to eat all the bananas there is some guard which can come and like like when he comes then this panda has to go away so he has to eat all the bananas within this time period t so you have to determine what is the k speed he should eat so like let's see what is the maximum like what is the minimum integer k what is the minimum value of k such that she can eat all the bananas within h hours h hours means after h hours that guard can give so as you can see let's assume that if i eat 100 bananas let's assume per hour then i can eat this whole this whole and he can only eat like uh like he can if he is eating one pile then he cannot jump to another pile while eating like he has to first complete this whole pile so as you can see if i have uh, let's assume i have uh, like 3 hours okay i have 3 hours then i can eat this whole pile in if i i can eat at a speed of 100 like 100 bananas per like per hour i can eat this pile and this pile in 2 hours which is fine because the guard will come after 3 hours but if my speed is 200 my my speed is 200 bananas per minute then also i can eat this in 2 hours if my speed is 500 bananas per minute then also i can eat this in 2 hours so that means that all my answers are valid but what is the minimum possible speed i have to find out the minimum possible speed after which that i can eat all the bananas and these types of problem are called monotonic function problems in which like as you can see there is a function like like you don't like actually have to write a function but let's assume that there is some function in which monotonic means that for particular value its answer is no but after one point it answers strike out to be yes uh, in electrical there is a monotonic functions in which for particular voltage or like for particular value it's and uh, like value turns out to be zero but as soon as i hit some threshold value it's turned out to be one and this is the minimum threshold value after crossing this it will turn out to be one so that's the whole like this is the whole logic for a monotony function as you can see if i take larger banana speed then also my answer is valid if i hit 200 bananas 500 bananas just then this is also valid i can eat this but i have to find out the minimum possible speed let's assume that the minimum possible speed 27 let's assume that i can eat 27 bananas in this per hour and then this is the minimum if i eat 26 then i cannot complete this in 3 hours but if i eat 27 bananas per minute like per hour then i can complete all them all of them in that given time of 3 hours let's assume i'm just giving a hypothetical situation but that's the whole logic for this question there is a monotony functions and i'll tell you how to define or like how to find out whether a function is monotony or not and uh, that's the basic properties for a binary search problem so you can define now coming to the code part now so for code part you can either write the binary search for more like for some problems you have to write down the binary search algorithm and in some part you can use the in like pre built function called lower bound i will tell you to solve this function with both of these type okay so as you can see in this this is a standard binary search problem in which you are given a sorted array and you have to find out whether this target is present in this nums if it is present in the nums return out its index else you have to return out minus one that this number is not present in that value okay so the bin like i have told you in the standard problem i'll take the array take both pointers one at the start and one at the end and then come at the middle find out whether this is the middle element is the target value i'm searching for if it's good then i come out of this loop if it is not then i will search to the left or to the right so that's the whole thing we are doing in this problem in which i have made the the left pointer turns out to be zero it's actually defining the indexing because you have to clearly define what is your boundary for your binary search as you can see in this my boundary is that i these are the arrays i have to iterate over these arrays i cannot go out of bound of this array i hope you get my point so that's why my boundary is the zeroth and the last index then i will do a while loop from left to right find out the middle element if the middle element is equal to target then return out that's index so return out its index is the middle element i'm not returning its value but i'm returning its index else if this condition is not hit i will check that the whether the middle element is greater than target so as you can see 
I have come to the middle element and this middle element is not equal to the number I'm searching for. It is not equal. So if this middle element or actually the number I'm searching for target is smaller. So if my target is smaller and the number I am on is greater then it's all like it already mean that my number is on the left hand side. If my number is on the left hand side, I have to decrease my window. My window is from this, this point to this point. But now my element is on this half, right? Like left part. So what I do, I will transfer this pointer to this point. So this is the right pointer and I'll transfer my right pointer to this point, which is mid minus one because mid value doesn't consist our answer. Why to take this mid value again? I have already checked on the mid value and the mid value is not containing my answer. So I should not take my mid value again. So if my target is less than the mid value, I will make my right pointer to the mid minus one or else I will make my left equal to mid plus one. After coming out of this loop, whether I will hit my mid condition and I will print out the answer or if I not hit the condition, there are two cases, whether there is no index or my index lies on the left pointer. This is one important point. I will tell you in the later videos why this is happening, but you, my answer can be on the left pointer or on the mid pointer. If it is on the mid pointer, I have pointed out earlier. If it is not, I will check on the left pointer also. If my number of L is on the left pointer, I will return out L else I will turn out minus one, which means that there is no answer. So that's the basic the like a uh, basic code for the binary search. This is the standard term. You always have to write down L less than R, like not L equal to R in like very less case. You have to write L equal to R like less than equal to R, but you in most of the case, it is L less than R. Then you have to find out mid like this. Then this is the standard conditions and that's the value. And this is the last final condition. That's the whole uh, like code for the binary search in which I have written on the code. You can also write down a standard function. I will tell you how. So comment it out. And this is another function. I will also make another video explaining lower bound and upper bound functions. So this is a lower, lower bound function. I will tell you in brief in which this lower bound function, what this will do, it will find out the first index of the number, which is less than or equal to the number I'm searching on. So I'll tell you how this is a lower bound function and this lower bound function searches the number using binary search. This is pre-built function. Okay. So for this function also my array should be sorted. So it is given in the question that my array is sorted. That's why I'm using this function lower bound function giving my starting like starting of my nums of begin nums of end giving the target also which is the number I'm searching on and I will also have to minus this nums of begin because this function returns out a pointer value and I have to subtract my like pointer value minus the starting pointer value and this will actually give me the index. Also if you want to find out the value directly you can just subtract this out. So this is a pointer value to find out the value of this pointer put a star here. So as you can see if I put a star here this will actually return, return out the value of the pointer like the value itself but I don't care about the value I want index. So for index, I'll use this line and this will actually give me an index. Now there can be a case. So this lower bound function, I'll repeat, will give the index or actually if I use this syntax, it will give me the first index of the number, which is less than or equal to my given number, the target I'm searching for. So as we can see, if my target, let's assume that this last number is 100 and my target is 105. I'm searching for number 105. So as you can see, my the according to the uh, like the definition lower bound will return out the index first index which is greater than or equal to like the number i'm searching for so i have to return out the index which is greater than the number i'm searching for this is let's assume the 10th index so it will return out 11 because my the next greatest index bigger than this number because it cannot return 100 100 is smaller than 105 it will return out a number which is greater than 105 so which is out at the index 11 so it will return out 11, but 11 is out of bound. So I have to also check that the index should not be greater than or like equal to, it should not be equal to the nums of array. It means that my number is out of bound, which means that there is no possible answer for this. My target like index is returning a number which is out of bound. Okay. So then it will return out minus one. If this is not the case, my, there is two answers, whether my index is storing the current position I'm on or it is not storing. So I have to check that my index nums of index is equal to target. If it is true, then I will turn out the index, which is stored in this index only else. My answer is minus one. So that's the basic code 
for both using the standard template like the standard function and the code itself if you still have any doubts please mention now stay tuned to this series i will post like a lot of videos regarding binary search in easy problems hard problems problems from difficult and like different platforms also so stay tuned i'll i'll also uh, like tell all like i've also started a dp series so you can also check that out i hope you get the point so i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye